Welcome to technical drawing. Today we are drawing isometric view. Front view top view is given. Now if you see length, length is 120. See this, I'll draw origin 120. Height is 90, 65 plus 25 and width is 34 plus 28. Now this is part 1. This is part 2 in front view. This is part 3 which is combined circle, semicircle and half rectangle and this slope is part 4. Now this part 1 is nearer to us, then part 2 is over here, part 3 is this and part 4 is this slope. So I'll take height 35, I'll draw a line like this, then I'll go down by 35. Now if you see, this distance is 40, so I'll mark 40, then I'll draw a vertical line, then I'll take 20-20 on both the sides. Then I will draw this line down. So we are done with part 1. Now we need to draw part 3. So what I'll do, I'll draw the rhombus. Since radius is 20, rhombus would be 50. So from center we'll take 20, 20. See this. Now we need to decide whether we need to draw a rectangle or a semicircle. So I think rectangle will come first and then we can draw a circle because if we draw a circle then we can't draw a rectangle. So first we need to draw the half rectangle and it will go inside by 20. See, I'm taking this remaining line also behind. So we can we can complete the part one. Now you go behind by twenty. Here also go behind by twenty. Then you find the center, and from there you can take twenty twenty. You can draw rhombus. You can go up by twenty. Go down by 20. So this is how you'll get rhombus. This will go inside by 20. This will be dark. Because of rectangle. And now we'll draw a circle. So to draw a circle, what we need to do? We need to draw four center method. So we'll draw longest diagonal. And we'll join midpoint to the opposite corner. See this. From this corner to this midpoint, we can draw arc. This we can't see. So we won't be drawing it. So we are done with the front part. Now we need to take this part behind by 20. So I will take this point from where we have done. This is one. I'll take this point one behind by 20 and I'll mark that as one dash. I'll take this radius and from one dash we will draw arc. This will be dark. This will be dark. So we are done with part 3. So see we are done with part 1 and 3. 
Now we need to draw part two. So part two, how much I need to go behind? Twenty-eight. Then I'll go up, and from here we'll draw a horizontal line. How much is this? Fifty. Same way. From here also I'll draw a line. So I'll mark 50 because radius is 25. Now if I want to draw rhombus, then I have to take height also 50. It is right now 55. So I'll mark 50 and I will complete the rhombus. Then I will draw longest diagonal. I will mark midpoint midpoint of all the side and then I'll join from here opposite corner so if you want to name you can name also one two three four this is midpoint M now we don't require arc from one because we required only half circle so we can draw it from two so 2 to M, we can draw a circle. 3 to M, again we can draw a circle. This will be vertical line, vertical line and dark line. Then I'll take this circle behind. How much I have to go behind? 34. So from point 2 and 3, I will go behind by 34. And here also I'll go behind by, go behind by 34. See this. So I'll mark this point as 2 dash. This I'll mark this 3 dash. So you take this radius to that radius from 3 dash you can draw an arc and draw tangent now you take this radius go behind by 34 and you can draw arc now what I can do, I can extend line from here. See this, wherever it will cut from there, I'll go up. So it will merge here only. Now we need to draw that slope, part 4. So I will draw tangent first. Then if you see, it is 10 mm. So you take 10. And now what we will do, we will draw this line inside and up but we don't know uh, how long so that we can find out it is 30 then from 2 you go behind by 24 because it is 34 minus 10 so 2 double dash so you take radius from 2 double dash you draw arc and then you draw tangent see like this so you'll get the rip part part 4 will be done So you can draw remaining line down. Then you can draw circle at point, at center point. From here we'll take 10 up, 10 down, 10 left, 10 right. And again we'll draw four center method to complete the circle. So I hope you people have understood this sum. Thank you.